Hi, Robert here, 6Y1X. I recently uh, purchased an ICOM 7600 about a month ago and I wanted to do a review on the 7600 versus my old radio, my ICOM Pro 3, which uh, the 756 Pro 3 was a really nice radio that I really enjoyed for a few years and uh, I'm going to be parting with it soon, but uh, I wanted to just compare the two because I know a lot of people upgrade from Pro 3s to 7600s and it's very difficult to find a video that covers uh, all aspects of, of the comparison between the two radios. So uh, first uh, let me start by uh, turning on both radios so you can see the uh, difference between startup on the two turn them on simultaneously and as you can see the uh, 7600 takes about two three seconds while the 756 has its usual 10 second startup time okay I, I'm gonna do a separate section dealing with the display itself I know it might be hard to see uh, everything from this aspect but uh, right now you get a good view of what the two radios look like uh, side by side or one on top of the other I should say and uh, take a look at the button layout and the differences between the two uh, let me start by saying first of all that uh, a few things I like about the 7600 and a few things that I, I prefer with the Pro 3 I think I'm going to be pretty uh, objective and unbiased in the, this review uh, mainly because I still love the Pro 3 uh, but I do appreciate some of the new things that the 7600 brings to the table so uh, starting over here at the left hand side you can see that ICOM changed up the way they did the volume versus the noise reduction balance um, the AF control here is at the bottom up here the noise reduction is on the top here the AF is to the left noise reduction and balance to the right R of squelch here, R of squelch down here. Uh, one of the first things that I did not like about the uh, 7600 was the changing of the power button. I think this was a little small. Uh, this was a nice size power button. Uh, the power and transmit roughly in the same place. Um, the changed up the tuner, monitor, noise blanker. Uh, noise blanker, noise reduction are now down here and uh, the tuner and the monitor up top kind of like how it used to be. Uh, the function keys or the control keys to the left hand side uh, I much prefer the, uh, the, f the Pro 3 ver uh, method of doing it. These are raised um, they are more tactile when you press them uh, you, you definitely get a better feeling about them than the ones on the 7600 uh, it think it just has to do with a slight increase in the size and the fact that they're raised. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go in a little closer so you can see some of this uh, from a different angle. Okay, keeping with having a very honest review of these two radios, uh, when I received the 7600 and uh, my, did my initial comparison between the two, uh, just looking at them physically and touching and turning the knobs uh, this might surprise you but I actually feel that the uh, 756 Pro 3 is a slightly better built radio uh, it you know the old saying they don't build them like they used to uh, most of the knobs feel uh, more secure uh, made out of thicker plastic uh, and have a, a more uh, refined feel to them in the way they operate. Uh, the 7600, they feel a little cheaper, uh, not quite as well constructed as the uh, older knobs in the Pro 3, but I think this is something you find with almost all new radios that uh, they're, unless you go to the really high end models like the 7700, 7800, and uh, you know the FT5000 and various other models unless you go into that $7,000 price range you don't get the kind of construction that you get with the uh, older radios that were saying the three four thousand dollar price range a few years back 
With that said, um, there are a few exceptions to this. The tuning knobs, which is a big one, is much better on the 7600. It's uh, slightly larger, uh, it's smoother, it feels better when you turn it. This was definitely an upgrade uh, from the Pro 3. Uh, some of the other knobs that I really prefer on the 7600, these are small knobs like the mic gain, the RF, the comp, the compression, sorry, the uh, break-in delay and key speed, kind of small on the 70 on the 756. Uh, the ones on the 7600 are bigger, they're more robu robust, and the best part is you can actually push and lock them in or bring them out, which is a, a really great feature because these were small and you tended to hit them and they also looked much more delicate. Uh, where the 7600 kind of lags again is the function buttons. This is probably one of the things I really don't like with it. I much prefer the ones that were on the Pro 3. Uh, they just feel better, they respond better. The other buttons underneath, uh, like the SSB, CW, these are pretty much the same across the board. The uh, Pro 3 ones do feel a little more uh, solid, but overall every button, except for the tuning knob, feels a little more solid on the Pro 3. But the 7600 does have some advantages in that, as you can see, the split, the dual watch, the change, these are all larger. All of the direct uh, band change buttons are larger on the, on the 7600. Pro 3 had them a little smaller, a little tight, more tightly packed in. And of course, uh, some of the buttons on the other side here are probably better on the 7600 in terms of the size of the button. Uh, the knobs for the RIDI and for RIT and uh, the Delta uh, transmit are better I would say on 7600. Don't feel as solid as they do on the Pro 3 or as smooth but uh, given that they're bigger uh, I actually prefer that. The meter, okay, the S meter on the 7600 is not nearly as good as the Pro 3 but I think most people knew this coming in. The extra real estate needed mean they had to get rid of the meter and uh, this analog uh, fox meter does not uh, quite uh, live up to the standards of the true analog meter on the Pro 3. So giving you that's my opinion of first impressions overall constructions of both radios. Uh, they're roughly the same size. Uh, the even though I don't know if this video kind of gives you the impression here but on a quick measurement the uh, Pro 3 is slightly taller they look to be about the same width but I'd say there's about a quarter inch more of height on the uh, Pro 3. Other than that uh, they're pretty comparable radios uh, not much difference in terms of other aspects of it uh, the 7600 is a little feels a little heavier uh, around the back, of course, uh, the 7600 has the USB ports, and in the front here it has a USB port. Uh, you don't have any of that, only the CIV and a few other ports at the back of the uh, 756. So that's a look at the button layout, the construction, and the feel of these two radios from um, my viewpoint. Uh, now I'm going to just take a look at a few other aspects of the radios.